Welcome to my madness, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Revolt at Captain America. Now, of course, this is not a new figure in any way, shape, or form. He's been out for a while, and um, I've been wanting to pick him up for a while. I've been a little hesitant for a couple reasons. One, because I'm not the biggest fan of Revoltek. Um, I've got several of their figures, mostly Iron Man figures, and they're okay for what they are, um, but they're not my favorites. Um, the joints and the crazy poses and things that you can get these guys into are a little bit lost on me because I don't do crazy poses and dioramas and things like that in my collection. If you do, awesome. I'm not knocking it, and I'm certainly not knocking the posability of these action figures. It's just not really something I'm willing to spend a lot of money on, and that goes into the other issue that I have with having picked up this figure up until now, which is that I just don't want to spend a lot of money on these figures. I mean, these Revoltech figures, especially this Captain America, usually tends to go for around the same price as a Mezco or a Mafex or something like that, which are figures I like a little better. Well, honestly, a lot better. And, um, you know, I'd rather spend my money on those. However, I did get a good deal on this, so I went ahead and picked them up, and I wanted to kind of show them off and show you guys kind of how good this figure is because I do think it is a really good figure and I am glad that I picked him up but we'll go over accessories real quick first okay so he does come with a stand pretty basic pretty simple nothing really to write home about or anything like that but of course it does work he does come with some accessories he comes with some extra hands and he comes with this uh, kind of uh, piece that you can clip on to his shield to make it look like he's blocking bullets and while I am not great at posing action figures, um, you can see you can kind of get him into a position where if you want to set up any kind of diorama or anything like that, where he's fighting some Hydra agents or anything, whatever it is, whatever your thing is for him, you can certainly get him going with that little accessory that you've got there. And then, of course, he does come with an extra head sculpt, an unmasked Steve Rogers head, which I really dig the head. I think the head sculpt looks great just as a Steve Rogers head sculpt. I also think it looks really good on this figure. So I think they did a really good job. There's not a ton of accessories, especially given the price that you're going to pay for this guy unless you get a deal like I did, but still more than enough for what you would need for a Captain America figure. So we've got the figure itself right here, and I think he looks really good. I mean, the sculpt is great. I think, um, you know, some of the problems that I have with Revoltech figures is how you know, all the joints, the crazy angled joints really kind of disturb the sculpt. And on this dude, I don't think they disturb the, the disturb, excuse me, the sculpt at all. I think they do a really good job of just kind of having him look big and beefy. And I think it looks absolutely great. I think they did a fantastic job there. Um, he really, really looks amazing. Um, now, as far as the joints go, you can get him into all kind of crazy poses. And again, this is something that's lost on me. I am fairly vanilla when it comes to my collection. My guys just kind of sit there on the shelf like this, and that's it, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, that's, that's how my guys sit there. Um, I don't put them in crazy poses, primarily because I'm not good at posing figures, and also because it saves me space when I just have them kind of standing there like this, as opposed to some crazy action pose. So it's kind of twofold for me, but it works for me. So I'll go ahead and show you what the joints on this guy can do. Of course, he can get his hips out all the way. We can get a full Van Dam split there. Uh, we do have the kind of angled thigh cuts, where see if you turn them, they kind of kick up like that. He does have single jointed knees, but these single jointed knees come all the way up, which is really, really nice. Um, he does have uh, rotation and he's got this kind of angle where you can kind of move the calf right there at that point. It's kind of got a ball joint in there. So if you want to move it like that or kick it out to the side or kick it in or whatever you want to do, you certainly can. We got ball joints at the ankles. We got toticulation there. Um, he, he has some sort of rotation at the waist. And what I mean by that is it, it's got a peg and socket down in here, but it's angled. In other words, it's angled from the back to the front, kind of like that. And so if you try and turn him too much, he kind of comes apart. So it, it's kind of weird. It kind of helps him crunch over really, really, really well. But it also, because of the angle, doesn't really let him go back at all much past that. 
Um, and then all your rotation is gonna be up in the upper torso up here where you can get them up there. So rotating down at the bottom, not really gonna be a thing. Of course, we've got that double ball joint shoulder right there that we get on all the Revoltex stuff, um, which does give a lot of movement. Um, no bicep swivels on this guy. Uh, he does have single jointed arms, but they come up really, really far. Uh, ball joint wrists, his head is on a ball joint along with that neck. So he's got a two piece there. So the neck kind of sinks all the way down in there. It's on a ball joint and the head's on a ball joint. But to be honest, for two ball joints in that neck, it doesn't get a whole lot of movement. Um, not as much as you would think with a, a double ball joint there uh, on top of the neck and down at the bottom of the neck. Um, you know, he can look up really well. Uh, he can look down really well because of that ball joint there in the bottom of the neck. Um, so, I mean, it's basic Revoltex stuff, right? Like, it's, it's pretty solid stuff. He also has his belt for some reason is on a ball joint on both sides. I don't know why that it's like that, but it is. Um, I guess to allow for movement in the hips. But, you know, it's, it, it's got a lot of articulation. You can get him in some really cool poses. But again, for somebody like me, it's kind of a waste because I'm not really going to get him into too many crazy poses shield is really nice we comes with two straps there one you have to attach to the hand so this hand is specifically reserved for holding the shield the shield looks really nice I think they did a great job there nice shine on the shield really looks nice and metallic and then of course he does come with a little piece that you can actually pop the shield on the back it's a little plastic piece that goes between his back and the shield there's a little peg hole right in the middle of the shield if you want to put his shield on his back but for for me, Captain America is always holding his shield. All in all, I think it's a great looking figure. I think they did a really good job. Now, to quickly do some comparisons here with some other figures that we've got out there that you might be considering putting this guy up against. First up, let's go ahead and do the 80th anniversary Captain America, or excuse me, I think this is the 20th anniversary Captain America. Um, he is a little bit shorter, not a lot, to be honest, not as much as I would think, because most Revoltex stuff is true six inch scale. And this dude is over six and a half inches tall, but it's just that this Captain America right here is closer to six and three quarters inches tall. He's a taller figure for Marvel Legends. Um, so all in all, I think it's a good size Captain America, even for a Marvel Legends collection. Then you get into some of the import stuff like this sentinel here and they're roughly the same size give or take i think the sentinel's standing up a little bit straighter here but the bulkiness of this guy here i think actually looks better than the sentinel the sentinel looks more like a robot he doesn't even look like a guy in a suit he just he just looks like a robot there which is fine i still love this figure but uh i like the beefy look of the revoltek here then of course uh we've got our bring arts uh, which I think is an offshoot of Square Unix, Enix, whatever it's called, the Play Kai Art stuff. Um, this is a great looking figure. I've also got another review on this one because I just picked him up as well. And you can see they're roughly right about the same size. Um, but definitely the Revoltek is a bigger, beefier figure. And then, of course, we've got, I think, the best comparison here, which is the new Ultimate Captain America. And the reason I think so is because it's very obvious that this Revoltek look is taken from the Ultimate Captain America look, um, you know, with the, the, the different style uh, scale mail up top, the more helmet looking head, um, the combat boots, all that kind of stuff, the more combat looking gloves. Um, this definitely is a look that was inspired by, you know, the Ultimate Captain America. And since we have Ultimate Captain America here, I think this is a good comparison. And you can see they're pretty close to the same height. Um, you know, our Marvel Legend here might be a hair taller, but not by much. But of course, the Revoltek is much, much beefier, which again, I think is a really good look for this guy. So I think they did a really good job on that. Look, all in all, I think it's a great figure. I think they did a really good job with this guy. I think he looks fantastic. I mean, all the articulation is lost on me. And for most people, the price is going to be pretty high. I mean, this guy goes for around 100 bucks. Now, I picked him up on a Big Bad Toy clearance sale which was great and I picked him up for 55 which is why I finally picked this guy up because I just couldn't bring myself to spend 100 bucks on him but at 55 bucks it was a damn good deal and I'm very happy to add him to my collection so look in the end guys I mean it kind of comes down to this if you like Revoltek and you like Captain America this is a no-brainer um, 
If you like Revolt Tech but don't care about Captain America, then clear pass here, unless for whatever reason just need another Revolt Tech to add to your collection. If like me, you don't really care about Revolt Tech, but you do love Captain America, it's still a really good figure. Would I spend full price on him? No, I wouldn't, and I didn't. But it's still a really good figure, and I am really, really glad that I picked him up. I, I think they've they've kind of knocked it out of the park here. He is a good version of Ultimate Captain America, which is one of my favorite looks for Captain America, and I think they did a fantastic job. So, look, if you're in the market for something like this, I think you will be very, very pleasantly surprised by this guy. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it every time when you take the time to sit here and, uh, and go over the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this guy. And always remember to enjoy your collection.